The Smart IQ product from Smart Communications has enabled enterprises and government agencies to digitally transform their forms and related processes for over a decade. Now, by seamlessly integrating Smart IQ with SmartCom, we enable you to not only create dynamic, interview-style digital conversations with customers, but to create and deliver personalized, on-demand communications at scale with NextGen Customer Communication Management, or CCM. Today, we're going to demo how SmartIQ can call a data model within SmartCom to build out a multi-channel output. Our integration with the SmartCom Draft Editor allows for on-demand CCM and gives you an editing functionality that's word-like, while still maintaining all of the data traceability that you would expect from a robust enterprise-class CCM system. You will see SmartIQ integrate with SmartCom to create a document and make some personalized modifications while leveraging SmartCom templates as part of a workflow. Our focus today will be on a first notice of loss, a key process in insurance. But you can imagine the same functionality for other on-demand communications, such as a quote or application request. Ron is an agent for an insurance company, and Marcus has called in about a loss and wants to initiate a claim. We'll start with a standard form and begin to fill in the information. The form represents what could be the policy system or form that Marcus fills in on his mobile device to get the claims process started. From Ron's perspective, if he was receiving this as a workflow task out of his policy system, this would be the first time he would see this, or he may have been speaking to Marcus on the phone or may have received this information directly as a workflow assignment. As we move into the draft communication, you'll notice dedicated space just for working on this document. You can see it's embedded, much like Word, directly within the Smart IQ toolbar, which is customizable based on the template. You'll also notice that the logo is specific to the brand. The areas in gray signal parts of the form which cannot be modified or locked down. If I click and try to edit, I'll get a message saying, based on the rules, based on who you are, you can't modify this greeting. The areas not in gray can be modified. For example, I can add notes based on personal conversations and personalize the document with something like, I hope you're enjoying the golf trip. In each of those areas, you can see we've brought in shared content. There are also the data points that we use. You can see this is my agent. First name is Ron. All of this information has been built out. You can see the page breaks and all of the functionality that we might require. We can actually see the changes made by track changes. You'll see a lot of information is being captured as part of this process. When I close out, what happens is the first draft itself is sent to the SmartCom CCM engine, based on the other rules required for that addition and branding. You can actually see the PDF that gets created as a very rich PDF. You can see, there's my note, hope you enjoy your golf trip, that qualification. We've been able to personalize with the note, but with all of the static content that was required as well as the dynamic aspects at the top. The document is now also available for any other action required within Smart IQ. If I now want to deliver that document to a system of record, or if I want to email that document or anything else I may want to do with the resulting PDF, that is now being managed by Smart IQ. What we've done is leveraged what exists for that actual draft itself. So, Let's have a quick look at how you'd configure one of these. I've got my form here, first notice of loss. The data model is something that you drag from the templates, and then you map each of the fields that you want to the data. As a workflow step, you now have this draft communication. There was an additional draft editor state that was dragged on here, and details from SmartCom about what you would like to stand up, what project it's a member of, its resource ID for the template select, and then the data model because you're going to have multiple drafts that you may want to create in parallel in different states. Whether they're in parallel, whether they're sequential, they might use different data models. Each of these definitions determines what you would like this template to do and how you'd like it to work. Other than that, it's a standard workflow. One more thing to note. Whenever you're entering a draft communication, you can reset the draft. When I make modifications, I may want to keep or I may want to discard it based on data that I'm using. There might be scenarios where I want to refresh the draft because of new information gathered, and I want to start from a blank generation tool. All of that functionality exists within this integration. That was a quick demo of the Smart IQ and SmartCom integration and the value it brings to customers, from initial data gathering through document generation. If you'd like to learn more about Smart IQ or about the integration between Smart IQ and SmartCom, please contact us today.